Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. So if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video I'm going to show you how to set up a basic Unify home network from scratch. Alright guys, I'm going to keep this network set up really straightforward and simple for you. As you can see by the diagram on the screen, in this setup we're going to be using a USG, a Unify Switch 8 60 watt, a cloud key controller, and a UAP AC light. In the photo you can see that I have everything wired together and the status lights are white, meaning that they're ready for setup. They've either been factory reset or they're straight out of the box. In any event, right out of the box of factory reset, they still work. For example, I have the WAN port of the USG plugged into another switch on my main network. So I should have internet access. If I bring up a ping tool and I ping the internet, you can see I'm getting a successful ping. So that being said, let's get started with the setup process. All right, guys, so to locate the devices on my network, I'm going to use the UBNT Discovery Tool, which is a Chrome extension that you can download from the Chrome Web Store, and I'll put a link to that down below. So let's get started. And it found my edge switch on my network, but to find my unified devices, let's come up here and click Unify Family. And there are the three devices that I want to set up and adopt to the Unify controller. So we need to find the cloud key. So let's come over here and find cloud key. And there's my cloud key at 192.168.1.8. So I'm going to click on that address now to bring up the cloud key. And you get the uh, security message. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and click on advanced. And then proceed to 192.168.1.8. And here we are. So to set up the Unify controller, let's click on the Manage button. And this brings us to the Unify Setup Wizard. So the first thing you have to do is set up your country and your time zone. So the United States, that's fine. Um, in the Eastern time zone, so I'm going to leave that as well. Enable Auto Backup. I'm going to leave that set to on. Now, typically in a new setup, all you would have to do is click next because this information here would not be here. The reason it's showing on this setup is because the cloud key that I'm using, I used previously and it is set to factory default. So these are all the auto backup files from that previous um, setup. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on next. And we're at the configured devices screen and it found the three devices that I want to set up in this controller. There's the UAP AC light, the uh, 60 watt switch, and the USG gateway. So come over here and select them all and then click on next. Now it's time to configure the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to call this lab Wi-Fi. And I'm going to give it a really simple password for the purpose of this video, just eight zeros. And you have to use a minimum of eight characters. And please use a stronger password for your own network. We have the option of enabling a guest network. So I'm going to do that here. And we'll call this uh, guest lab Wi-Fi. That's fine. And we're going to come over here and click the next button. Now we're at the controller access screen. So we have to set up a uh, an account for an admin. So I'm going to use my typical setup and my business email and the password okay use the same name and password for SSH access that's fine let's come over here and click next and now we're at the confirmation screen so let's review the settings below. So everything here looks good. So to finish, finish the setup wizard, let's come over and click on the finish button. Okay, as far as cloud login credentials, 
I'm not going to link this cloud key to you to uh, Unify's cloud service, but we can do that in the future. I'm going to click on skip for now. And this brings us to the Unify controller login screen. So let's log in with the credentials that we just set up. And there we go, guys. We're logged in. We have our three green bubbles. The first one is the WAN, which is the USG. Then we have the LAN bubble, which is the Unify Switch 860 watts. And then we have the WLAN, which is the UAP AC light. Let's come on over here and click on the devices icon and take a look at the three devices. So we have our USG, our switch, and our access point. To conclude this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to give these devices a user-friendly name, and that'll be all for now. We have a couple of updates that I'll run off screen, and then in the next video, I'll show you how to change the subnet and set static IPs for this network. So to give the devices a user-friendly name, let's click on a device and come on over to the sidebar here and click on Config. Click in the Alias field and give it a name. So I'm going to call this Lab USG and click on Save. And then I'm going to click on the switch and come over to the pane and click on Config and do the same thing in the Alias field. We'll call this um, unify switch 860 watt and click save and then finally we'll come and click on the access point and we will click on config click in the alias and I'll call this lab UAP AC light and click save And you can see now, instead of the MAC addresses, now we have a user-friendly description for each device. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. A quick and simple setup of a unified network for your home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos up above. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.